Hey guys, welcome back. So I got a video for y'all today all about these two palettes right here. These are both from Face Candy. This one is the Amazonia palette and then this one is the Sahara palette. So pretty, so exciting. So we're gonna do like we normally do. We will talk about the pricing. We'll look at the packaging. Um, we'll look at some swatches. I'll talk about the formula on these shadows and just how they are to work with, my overall thoughts and opinions on them. And then I will also show you a little mini tutorial on how I got this look right here. So yeah. Let's get to it. So starting with pricing and packaging, these palettes are $12 individually, or you can purchase them as a duo for $20 from Shop Hush. As far as the packaging goes, it is so beautiful. I love the packaging on these. This is the outside sleeve of Sahara. So it's kind of that like rubbery matte sort of a feeling and it's raised, like the little details on it are raised. This one has like less raised detail, but just a little bit, but still really pretty. But then Amazonia, like all the little trees are raised. It's just beautiful. Really, really nice attention to detail. So this kind of has like a bluish sort of a tint to it. And this kind of has that overall warm sort of feeling to it. So those are the little outside sleeves and the actual palettes themselves feel so nice. They're really nice and weighty feeling, just very high quality. And same thing, they kind of have that um, rubbery matte sort of a feeling to them. And again, they're raised just so beautiful. So impressed with the packaging on it for the price. I mean, blown away by it. And I forgot to mention that there also is a nice functional mirror in each of them, which is really great. So as far as what you're getting in each one of them in Sahara, this is obviously going to be the more warm toned of the two. So you've got really fun, bright orangey shades, golds, um, kind of like burgundy shades. This one is a really cool duochrome that we'll look at when we get to swatches. So overall, this just kind of has that deserty, Saharan um, sort of a feeling to it. Really, really pretty. Love the whole theme on that one. But I think that this one is my favorite as far as the theme goes, just because it's really just beautiful and something fun and interesting. Like it's a really cool contrast of some really out there, like especially that one, warm tones, but then there's a lot of cool tones in here, like a beautiful mint, a silver, a white. It's just a cool palette, literally and figuratively. So beautiful. I love the whole look and theme of this one. So that is the Amazonia. Okay, came in closer for some swatches. So we're going to start with Sahara. So I just wanted to show you a quick little close up of Sahara. So we're going to start with this one. Let me get this situated somewhere so that I can see the shade names. Okay. So we're going to start at the top left side of the palette. This one is Mirage. This is Oasis. This is Acacia, I think. This is Sunburn. I love these two. Really fun. That's that duo chromy color. That is shade down here. This is Sandstorm. This is Hot Spell, Desert Lily, Date Palms, Sand Viper, Dunes, Desert Sun, I cannot wait to wear that one, Gazelle, and Dusted. So there are all the ones from the Sahara. And then we've got Amazonia. There's a close up of that one. It's so fun. I love this one. Okay, let me get this situated. Let me get my pointer here. Okay, we're all ready. Top left side of the palette. This is Orchid. This is Starbeam. This one right here is a lot more loosely packed than the other metallics. That's just an FYI on that one. Dangerous. Morning Mist. Howler. Toucan. That's a really nice one. Like for that type of a color, that's a really nice formula on that shadow. This is Cacao Bean, Passion Fruit, Capybara, Capybara, Basin. That one's really good too for being a light mint, like a matte mint. That's a really good shadow. This one is Piranha, Monsoon, Water Lily. This one is probably one of the best peacock sort of eyeshadows I've ever swatched or played with because these are normally really gritty from a lot of different companies. Gritty and just patchy. That one is really, really good. And then this one is Sunbeam. 
So there are all the ones from Amazonia. So as far as the formula goes on these shadows, you know, I find it really interesting because the formula on these two particular palettes seems super, super similar and or possibly exactly the same to Bad Habit Beauty palettes. You know, I've tried several palettes from Face Candy and I definitely have some favorites from the others that I've tried. Like, I love the Milkshake palette, I love the Vice palette, but then there were a couple others that I kind of struggled with um, using them. I just found them a little bit more difficult to work with, like the Wild palette, I had some trouble with that one. But love the Vice and Milkshake. But these seem different. These seem like Bad Habit Beauty. So I'm not sure if they use the same lab or if they're somehow, I don't know if they're sister companies. I have no idea. Like I have no information on that. But this just seems super duper similar to Bad Habit Beauty palettes, like the formula of them. Well, even the packaging seems really, really similar to those two. So, which I love. I really, really like those. So I think it's gonna come down to Formula wise on these, if you will like these or not, I think really depends on what you think about if you've tried Bad Habit Beauty palettes. Like if you like the formula on those, I think you'll really like the formula on these because the mattes are a really soft sort of a shadow. So it's just a different experience working with that kind of a shadow. There's more um, kick up in the pan. You might get a little bit more fallout on your face, but they're buttery and pigmented. They do build on themselves, they blend nicely. So I don't mind the formula on them at all. I really like them. And also there's just like some super duper standout good shadows in here. Like especially this one, like I pointed out in the swatches, like these right here, there are a lot of duds in the makeup world in those kind of colors. And these are done right. Those are really, really good. So great formula on those. The um, shimmery shades are nice and buttery. They're still soft too, but they're buttery and soft and really pigmented. There is that one in Amazonia, Starbeam. My camera cut me off, but I was saying that it's not really like gritty. It's just a little bit more loosely packed than some of the other metallics. So I really, really like the formula on these. Like I said, it comes down to, I think because this is so similar and or exactly the same formula as the Bad Habit Beauty palettes, if you like those, I think you'll really, really like these palettes and the formula in them. So my overall thoughts and opinions on these palettes, I love them. I think they're an awesome price point. I think they are beautiful. The packaging just blows me away. And I think they're a really fun collection of colors. This one is really fun and beautiful, but this one's my favorite of the two. I just love this one. I think it's a lot of fun and just pretty to look at. It's just a pretty palette. So this one's my favorite of the two, but I really like them both. So that's my overall opinion and review on these palettes. So now we are going to get into this tutorial. So let's get to it. Okay, so I've already applied some eyeshadow primer and set that. So now I'm gonna take my Sahara palette and get some of Dunes on a Cosette S175 brush. And I'm gonna build this up in my crease just as my blending shade. Now I'm gonna take my Amazonia palette and I'm gonna get some of, what do I want to use? I'm gonna use some of Passion Fruit on, this is a cute little brush from um, Glamour Dolls. It's so cute, it's like got little whales on it and stuff. It's just fun. I'm gonna build that up in my crease, same kind of area. I want to do a light silvery kind of lid. So I'm going to first start with Basin on a concealer brush, just a flat concealer brush. And I just tapped off my brush and now I'm going to apply this onto my lid, just kind of lighten that area. This would probably be something pretty to do with like a cut crease look, but I just don't like cut crease looks on me. I've tried them several times. They just look too, I don't know what the word would be, um, harsh maybe? Because I don't mind dramatic makeup, but it just, it looks goofy on me. In a nutshell, it looks goofy. <laughs> and now I'm gonna get some of Morning Mist on that same brush, and I'm gonna spray that. This is really pretty and pigmented by itself, but I'm gonna spray it with some setting spray just to kick it up a notch and apply this to my lid. Okay, so that's kind of what I end up doing is sort of like faking a cut crease. Now I'm gonna get some of Howler on a small crease brush. This one is from CVS. 
And I'm just gonna get this built up in my outer corner just to add some dimension there. I want that a little bit deeper, so I'm gonna get some of Howler mixed with a little bit of cacao bean and use that in my outer corner. I wanna add back a little bit more warmth in my crease. I'm gonna get some of Passion Fruit on a BH Cosmetics 10 brush. Just kind of run this through my crease, just lightly. Then do a little bit of blending. I'm just gonna add a teensy bit more of that silver shade with my finger, just to bring that intensity back just a little bit. Then for my lower lash line, I'm gonna get some of Capybara, Capybara on that same number 10 brush. I just cleaned it off. And I'm gonna run that along my lower lash line. And kind of a smoky gray lower lash line. And then I'm also gonna get a little bit of Howler on that same brush and just apply that on the outer third or so of my lower lash line. And now I'm just gonna finish up with some gray liner and some mascara. I'm using my Laura Geller Eye Care Waterproof Eyeliner in Gunmetal and my CoverGirl Clump Crusher for my lower lashes and my It Cosmetics Superhero for my upper lashes. Okay, so I finished up the rest of my makeup. So now for a little finishing touch, I wanna get some of Basin. Let me wipe off my pencil brush just to make sure there's nothing on it. A Little bit of Basin and apply this to the inner corners of my eyes just for a little fun pop of kind of mint green, like light mint green. I love this color, it's one of my favorites in this palette. So just building this up. I was gonna top that with one of the highlighters from Mermaid Glow, but I think I like it just like that. So I'm gonna leave that, but I am gonna use this on my cheekbones. So this is just a FYI, this is the highlighter I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use Enamored on my Beauty Junkies Pro Setting Brush. And the reason I'm doing this color, I love the contrast of like cool and warm tones. So I've got like peachy going on and then in the eyes there's cool and warm tones. So on my cheeks, I've got a peachy blush and then I'm gonna do kind of a more bluish silvery highlighter just for some kind of like, I don't know, interest. I think I'm gonna get a little bit of entranced also, which is more silvery because I always forget that uh, enamored comes off more purpley. So yeah, you don't have to do that. It's kind of a little bit more dramatic and out there, but I think it's fun and creative. Alright guys, so that wraps up this video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and hope it was helpful for you. Please do a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you think about these palettes. If you tried them yourself or if you've just been looking at swatches, what are your thoughts and opinions on them? I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!